It's been three days since uh, I saw you last, <coughs> and my painting has had a chance to dry. I left this painting out so that I could worry about it, and I recommend this to you. Uh, leave the painting around where you can see it and uh, where you go buy it uh, to go to the kitchen or something like that so that you can take a look at it out of the corner of your eye and see what it wants to do. Uh, never it seems uh, do they come out the way you want to the first time, so you always have to make adjustments. And the paintings tell you what they want to be. This painting has been talking to me for three days, and it was said so far is that it needs to be darker over here. I want to have more darks in this. I want to have more darks over here. And I want this whole painting to be focusing more toward the light in the middle. And this is what this has told me, so what we're going to do today is going to make it uh, happy and do what it wants me to do. So the first thing I noticed was that this section here, this line, was not a particularly beautiful line. I wanted this to be more invasive. I wanted this branches to come into the picture more so that we didn't have this square. You see how this is sort of square here? I didn't like that. I wanted that to be a little rounder uh, in the middle. And also, from my original sketch, I noticed that I left out two or three trees in here. So we've got to put those in, too. I'm going to start over here. I'm going to do this part. Uh, I'm going to bring these branches in a little bit more. And for this, I'm going to use a large brush. Here's my flat brush. And I'm going to use this to create the, the branches as they come in. Now, this is a uh, sort of a redwood tree. Who knows how accurate I am? Botanists out there will dispute. But uh, for my purposes, this looks like a redwood. It looks like the redwoods that I've lived around here uh, with for years. And, and you see how I'm doing this? I'm using the chisel edge to create this form. Some of these branches go down, some of them go out. And now here you see, as I brought this one in, how that now changes this line to a more uh, interesting, at least in my view, a more interesting shape. So here we go into here. Now, I'm also increasing the dark. I made this a little bit darker. I thought that uh, it would increase the, uh, the sense of three dimension if this forward part were cons uh, considerably more contrasting than the parts in the middle ground and in the background. And plus, I'll leave a little bit of that first color in there to show you the other side of this tree. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of using only the, the chisel itself. I'm not uh, doing any wide strokes. This brush has an option of being either a thick brush or a thin brush, and I'm using the thin variation on this. Okay, now this is going to darken up this side. Now, because I've extended the, the tree, I also have to extend this shadow. But this is part of my plan. I wanted to extend this shadow because this is going to make uh, this whole section more of a frame. So we'll have this whole area dark and that'll focus us more onto the, the river and the, the distant hills. And this is one of the things that the painting told me. I was listening, and it said, make me darker here. OK, so that's just about where I want that to be. I'm going to change brushes, and I'm going to move to this shadow here in the foreground. Now, uh, when you're making a correction on a painting, it's always important to make the thing that's going to make the biggest change first. If you do always the things that are going to make the most dramatic changes, your painting will progress smoothly and naturally. If you, start, if you have to fix a little area, and you fix that first, you're going to spend a lot of time and not see much of a change. Here, we're we have the opportunity to make a big change. I want to make that now first off, because that's going to change everything I do from here on out. And I need to know that very soon. Maybe I'll change my whole pr approach uh, based on what I learned from these first few strokes. And then I was looking at this painting, and it said, why do you have this little triangle of, of uh, beige? It doesn't fit with the rest of the painting. It, it sort of reestablishes the foreground when we don't need that there. We want to focus this back here. So it told me to take that out. So out it goes. And you can see how just by taking that little corner out, we contain this. We feel more 
like uh, we are within this shadow ourselves. Okay, now you can see how the, the dark along this edge has started to create a frame for the internal parts of this painting. This is, uh, there are compositions called frame compositions where we really do this, where we do this all the way around. I'm not going to do that in this one, but uh, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting variation and a, a nice one. I like it. <laughs>